Excellent. Thank you so much, Glenn. I uh, really appreciate you giving kind of an overview. For some of us, it might be a review. <laughs> uh, and then for others of us, this may be kind of new information that we're gathering now as we're listening in this webinar. We did have a few questions come through. So I'd, I'd like to kind of, I think they specifically address you, Glenn. So I'd like to um, get those answered first and then we can go ahead and get into our, our panel and I'll introduce Sue and Dave as well. So first question, Glenn, uh, thanks for the presentation. Can you explain more what you termed manure processors? Uh, yeah, so I would just say that we have a company that's uh, come into Ohio, actually a couple of them that are wanting to process manure and um, they, um, you know, they intend to take it. They intend to produce several things like natural gas and bio crude and dry PK and, and actually a liquid nitrogen product. So we've never had a manure processor that could do those types of things. Some of these newer companies think that that's, they've really got an opportunity here. So, you know, again, they do not need a manure in there as wet as it commonly is coming out of our manure ponds and our, um, uh, hog pits, but still that's the potential. So I'm pretty excited to see what happens. Excellent. Thank you. The next question, does Ohio allow for the transport of manure through waterways? So I think this is in reference to the um, drag line that was going through the creek. Yeah, under the bridges and yeah. across the creeks. Yes, I think as long as uh, everyone takes good care of what they're doing and, and uh, recognizes Anytime you get close to water, you're putting yourself at risk. You, uh, if you, if you have rocks in the bottom of it, you risk the opportunity to cut through the hose. So you just need to be kind of careful about that. Great. And then let's see here. Uh, you mentioned blowing out the lines. Can you talk about the typical O and M on these systems? O and M on these systems. I would. When, when we do, uh, when any commercial manure applicator gets done with a field, uh, usually when they're about, um, the manure in the hose takes mm, probably 10 minutes to get from a source to get to the uh, applicator out in the field. So when an applicator is about 10 minutes from finishing a field, uh, he or she will call back to the uh, person running the pump and say, put in a pig. So they'll put in a, uh, a, a dense uh, foam ball that uh, and then they'll stop the actual pump itself and put on put on the air pressure of about 200 pounds per square inch of air pressure and that will push that um, pig through that line and shove all the manure ahead of it so that when the applicator gets to the end of the field and they're finished with the field usually he's within seconds of that manure pig coming through the line and the last of the manure being pushed out. So that makes the wrapping up of the hoses a lot easier the, um, you know, you just don't have that uh, hose with uh, hundreds and hundreds of gallons of manure in it that have to uh, find a home. Mm 